Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to show you guys how to get pop-ups on your Shopify website. So if you are interested, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into this video. So as you guys can see, if you go to my website, you are gonna see a pop-up like this that just says stay in touch with us. And the app that I do use for this is called Better Coupon Box. It is on the app, um, it's on the Shopify app store. Um, this app is free. And pretty much all you do is create different coupon boxes or different coupon campaigns for your customers. So I have a few here that I've used. I am using the Stay In Touch With Us one currently right now. Um, pretty much what you do on this app is you're able to promote anything that's going on with your business. So any discounts that you may be offering, any sales, um, any... Uh, like different changes, any products, different uh, events. Like say you're opening a new location, pretty much any updates with your company, you can put that here. If you are offering a discount in this box, you're going to wanna make sure that you put in your promo code or your discount. Um, right now for the campaign that I'm running, I'm not offering uh, a discount for this pop-up. I'm just pretty much wanting to bring more awareness to my social media. So I'm gonna leave that blank. Also, you can add your social media network to this app as well. This app is really good because not only does it pop up and give you your customers like some excitement, but it also promotes your social media links. It also allows your customers to have a message from you. It also uh, advertises like a different, you know, like an email mailing list to kind of gain more subscribers for that, for your email marketing. Uh, the second page is going to be your trigger. So it's going to go over things like, you know, when should they show the coupon box? When do you want the app to trigger? When do you want it to pop up for your customers? So you can have it pop up on exit intent, meaning that when customers are exiting your website, the app pops up to kind of, you know, draw them into the website a little bit more and keep them on your website page longer. Um, you also can choose to automatically pop up on the first page for it to pop up on the second page. And it can also pop up just by like uh, your customer's discretion. So meaning that if a cust your customer sees like a um, get discount box at the bottom of your screen or at the top of your screen, they can click that and that's the point that's going to trigger, you know, your coupon box to pop up for them. So it's completely up to you. Um, you can also choose who you want this coupon box to show to, whether it be new customers or, you know, you have that option as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, I choose to show the box to all customers. Um, that's just my personal preference. Now, the third step is going to be what do you want to pop up in the coupon box? Like, what do you want your subject? What do you want your, fo your focus to be? So mine, like I mentioned, it's just really bringing awareness to my social media links and to try to grow my email marketing list. So I'm just putting in there, stay in touch with us. Um, just because it's something pretty, you know, it's kind of basic, but it still gets the job done. It still lets you guys know that, hey, I really want you guys to stay in touch with me. I want you guys to interact with Batch of Care. So, you know, read this. And then you can also put, you know, your message in there. So I pretty much just put like follow us on social media so that you can stay updated um, with different like specials and news and pretty much just stay updated with the company. So that's what I'm doing for this marketing campaign. Now you can choose, like I mentioned, whatever you want to do at that point, you can also change it up as you know many times as you want. But right now, this is what I'm going with. It shows you like a pop up of what the like a preview of what the app is going to look like once you pretty much get to this point. So you can choose at this point if this is something that you like or if you want to go back and, you know, reduce some things or if you wanted to say something different. So I like this here just so you can kind of see what it looks like. So you can also choose different customized, different custom things. Um, now for the custom themes, they aren't free. So you do have to pay for the themes that you want. Now, overall, the app is free. Um, I don't pay anything for it uh, because I don't use any of these custom themes. So if you want a custom theme like a Black Friday theme, for example, or a Thanksgiving theme, of course, it's going to cost money. But I just use the basic theme because it's free and it's always worked for me. So um, you guys can take a look here and see if this is something that you're interested in. I mean, I don't think there's um, any real obligation to sticking with the theme. I mean, you can always try it out for a holiday or a season. And I believe if you don't want it, you can cancel out. But like I said, I really don't mess around with the themes like that. I just use the basic theme that comes with the free app. 
Um, so pretty much at the end, you can choose, um, you know, if you want to edit your theme, if you like everything that you've created thus far. Um, you also can choose if you go if you're going to try to capture different email subscribers. So that's something that I want to do. This app, like I mentioned, is really good because it not only just like I said, pops up for your customers and makes your website look a little bit more interesting and professional, but it also does a great job at bringing traffic to your social medias. Even if you have customers that are looking at your social media pages um, and they don't necessarily subscribe, they're still getting access to your, you know, your social media platforms. Right here, I'm just showing you guys that you can, you can customize the color, but you can't really customize the theme. Um, in general. So I can't really do like a Black Friday theme or any of those themes that I showed you guys. You can, I believe, upload. I don't even know if you can upload like your own type of themes. I'm not sure, but I always use just the basic theme. And if you want to change your colors um, for the little button that your, you know, your customers will click, if they are interested in getting the discount, you can do that. Um, I keep mine blue. I pretty much keep it pretty, you know, basic. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.